Hey, what's up guys? How's it going on? Thank you so much for leaving the video. I am Iris and welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. And today I have a Dragon Minion and Lightning Spell Strategy. I don't know what to name this, but just uh, for just now we'll just keep it as Dragon Minion and Lightning Spell Strategy. And uh, this strategy is really great for Channel 7. You can probably 3 star them if you know how the strategy actually works. If you're in a uh, Channel 7, you can probably also 2 star a Channel 8 if the rate goes right. So it's pretty simple strategy. I'll be explaining you how the strategy actually works but uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already do that right now try Clash of Clans content every single day make sure to leave a like also make sure to click on the bell notification icon to get notified when I put in new Clash of Clans content but uh, you need to have three lightning spells and also take in balloons or dragons in the clan castle and uh, I don't think you can take in spells and uh, that's how uh, this strategy will be working so I'll be showing you some replays right now Okay, so we're gonna attack this guy now. Keep in mind, this guy is pretty max. He's also upgrading his town all to level 8. And we're gonna use up his two lightning spells, the third one as well, because that is level 6 uh, of uh, that air defense. I think it's level 6. So, uh, we'll probably this, uh, this strategy is pretty simple. <laughs> all you need to do is dra drop in three of the dragons. Make sure you do that in the arc. One here, one here, and one here. And then drop in minions up in the behind. Now, you want to make sure that you don't drop in all the minions in the safe spot because that uh, there's a threat that the air bomb may come in and kill all of your minions. So, we want to avoid that. Rather, spread them out. Now, if, uh, keep in mind that I don't have my clan castle, and that's the reason why you can actually see some. Uh, uh, pretty uh, pretty good, but they're not the best replays. Now, if you have Clan Castle, make sure you take in Loons or maybe a Dragon as well. Make sure you take in uh, the Loons and drop it somewhere here and make sure you deal with that one air defense. And that will be pretty great as well. Now, also, my King is level 1 and the fact that we're doing pretty great at this point, we're 58%. Again, make sure you don't drop all the minions and the same spot. They're really going to ruin up the raid. Now, the uh, advantage with this strategy is that the minions come into action when the uh, air defense is actually attacking those uh, dragons. So, once a dragon is killed, there are so many other minions which the, which the uh, air defense should deal with. And that's the reason why the dragons are uh, staying much longer than it actually would. So, 79% is what we're going to end at. Now, again, with the same strategy, uh pretty uh, same base again pretty much maxed out except for his walls and we're gonna do the same uh, style again dropping three lightning spells to deal with this level six air defense now again we're gonna drop in these uh, dragons at the uh, top we're gonna make sure it's an arc and uh, behind them we're gonna drop in minions make sure you spread them out you don't want to uh, Man, dropping all the minions at the same spot the air bomb will do the damage for those minions so again the air defense is dealing with that uh, minions and that's the reason why the dragons are pretty safe and sound at this point but the air defense actually targets the dragon that's pretty sad but just see there that's the reason why I'm saying you actually just spread out those minions uh, because the air bomb could actually do so much damage and that's the reason why I spread those uh, uh, minions out that will pretty much reduce the threat of uh, killing all those minions at, the same, at once uh, at one uh, kill with that air bomb so again my king is level one he's pretty dumb uh, not that but then he's quite okay not that good but then just think the scenario if you have a level 10 a king that would be a real game changer so again if you have maxed out troops and also if you can take in the clan castle balloons or dragons they'll really do a huge amount of damage now again you can drop in your loons at this point they'll probably go towards the uh, air defense up next and probably help you make sure that three star victory is towards your side so again the dragon is pretty much at full health over here again there are minions over here taking down the dark elixir storage now of course this strategy is pretty great and it doesn't consume much of uh, dark elixir and elixir the fact that we're just taking three uh, dragons and some of that uh, lightning spells so it's not gonna cost you much it's gonna cost you 200k and again maybe around 400 to 500 of that dark elixir so 79% okay now we find a dead base and that's the reason why I'm actually attacking this now this guy of course is pretty much uh, very low in terms of his uh, defenses and we actually couldn't even take down one of those air defense with just two of those lightning uh, spells but then we had to drop all the three lightning spells and the dragons are pretty much going towards the army camp they're gonna take that down we're gonna drop in the third one again the clan castle troops can do so much amount of damage again make sure to spread those uh, minions out they really help a lot and then drop in the king once there's uh, pretty much once the uh, 
Alcor will be supreme much kill. You can just drop in your king. I don't know where I dropped him. Yeah, I dropped him there because I want to deal with that air defense and take that down before it actually ruins up the whole raid. So again, we have 13 minions. I'm going to drop them all in. I'm going to make sure they go towards the middle. We want to make sure we're taking that down. Town all in the Dark Elixir stories. That's exactly what we want from these minions. Again, drop in a couple more over here because we want the loot as well. So uh, this guy is pretty low in terms of... Uh, those defenses so he is a rushed guy uh, pretty much we get these kind of bases pretty much attack it i don't know how many times i've said pretty much <laughs> uh, there's a problem with me pretty much oh my goodness uh, and we're at 72 percent and there's so many minions over here and the wizard tower is going to do some enemy amount of damage with the minions are so quick that they take down that wizard tower within no time the air defense is going to do single damage so the minions are going to work against that pretty well again we have a dragon here and the king now uh, we're gonna three star this guy but this guy's max so uh, uh, i just wanted to add in a three star replay and that's the reason why i was actually putting this in so 99 percent 100 percent completely three star this guy with an enormous amount of gold 600k 386k of elixir and 745 of dark elixir so yeah guys, that's how this strategy actually works. 3 dragons, 65 minions, and again, I think I can upgrade my army camp. I can get it to 200. In that case, you can take in maybe another, uh, some more minions, I don't know, uh, another 10 more minions maybe. Yeah, another 10 more minions, and the clan castle, you can probably take in balloons or dragons. It's completely depending dependent on you, so you can decide on that. But uh, that's how this strategy actually works, you guys. It's pretty great. I've seen many of those guys using this strategy in the wars you can actually three star town all sevens without any problems so that's the reason why i'm actually showing you this strategy it's pretty great again if you have level 10 king you can do so much more damage than you actually saw in those replays so thank you so much for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already do that right now and uh, make sure to leave a like also click on the bell notification icon to get notified when i put in new clash of clans content thank you so much for watching i'm aris and i'll be seeing you the next time until then goodbye